hope everyone had a very pleasant holiday season and new year rolling over. All right, let's see what we got. Right. As always, if you can pull up the agenda notes and log your attendance, that would be a great help. If there is anyone new on the call or who hasn't said hello before, this is a great time to Speak up, say hi, let us know what brought you to the meeting today. Love to hear where you're using Cooper. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, I think I think I should very briefly talk about myself. So I'm I'm Vivek. I work hi, for, for this I work for this uh, company, let's say, that works on uh, backup and restore of stateful applications that are deployed on Kubernetes. Uh, we have been using uh, not Qbert directly, let's say, but we have customers that are using Qbert, and obviously we are trying to protect those workloads. So that is how we we work with uh, Qberts on day to day basis. I would say, uh, yeah, I have been talking to Mike back and forth, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, let's see if I can uh, provide some valuable inputs. Thanks for joining, Vivek. Glad to have you. Yeah. All right. It looks like that's about as much attendance as we'll probably have today. So jumping into agenda notes, it looks like our first item, VM condition metrics design document. a couple of things here to pull up. See. Um, I don't have a note on who dropped this here. If someone wants to go ahead and speak to it. This, um... This was also an email on the mailing list from Shirley Radka. I, I don't think Shirley's here. Okay. Is there anyone else who works with Shirley on the call? All right, it looks like a valuable design document. Um, we should definitely follow up on that. And the other item here from Daniel Heller, 
about Istio. Interesting. Yeah, so there was a discussion that Daniel was going to bring up, but he couldn't make it today, um, on how we wanted to introduce the, the testing of Centus Stream 9. So at the moment, there's an issue with Istio and Centus Stream 9 that is blocking us from bringing it into testing at 1.26 Kubernetes. Um, so there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We can do this with two different providers, which would be Centus Stream 8 and 1.26, and Centus Stream 9 and 1.26. Um, or there's another way we could edit the SE Linux uh, that Jed suggested in the, in the discussion on the PR. Um, at the moment, I think we're looking at going with the two different providers so that we can initially start testing 126 and introduce it with Center Stream 8 and then move on to Center Stream 9 once that becomes stable. Any other input, thoughts, questions? Okay. Um, hey, Andrew, I want to tap you on the shoulder. Should we bump both of these two next week to bring up again? um as people are getting back from pto and such yeah it sounds good i mean yeah, okay. uh, people can follow up here and then make whatever comments they can but uh hopefully shirley and daniel can join us next week All right. Um, looks like we have a few, P a couple PRs picked out. Yeah, they're both just super small, just adding test IDs. Um, but they don't have comments on them, so I, I just dumped them here. Okay. Is it um, normal for, like, there's no uh, issue description or PR description in these? Um, is that normal when adding something very small for, a, like, a test ID? No, it's not normal. Yeah, it seems like it would be reasonable to. Oh, am I not locked in? Just a second. I'm logging in to get them. Okay. Um.
there any chance? This is the same person, but accidentally on a different account. Anyway. All right, and um, Andrew, I know it's holidays, so um, are there any bugs or mailing list, list stuff that I should go chase down, or did you already go through that? No, I had to look through. I couldn't really see anything that hadn't been looked at. All righty then. Um, last call then, if anyone wants to um, speak to anything else for agenda or open floor. going once going twice all right then I have new year to every oh yeah go ahead just one second i grabbing the link just one second go for it Uh, just one second. I'm going to put on the open floor. Sure. Um, uh, can you please open the link? Uh, I was trying to reach Roman because we are using the, integr uh, the, the, the integration over the client with GoLang. And the recommendation is to use Convert API. Uh, what is uh, when this GoLang uh, client go going to be? <clears throat> depreciated, not any more support. Who, who is taking care of that? So I think this discussion was about splitting up uh, originally the client Go, basically the Kubert client Go repo contained the API resources and um, the generated kind of client library. Mm -hmm. But that caused a lot of problems for people um, that just wanted the API definitions. Like, for example, if you're using um, the uh, controller runtime library with Kubernetes, like you don't care about the generated clients. There's a client that works with anything and you just want the API. Um, <clears throat> so we just split the API from the generated clients, um, which would allow uh, people to you know, either just import the API and use the controller runtime library, for example, or uh, import the API and generate their own clients based on whatever version of the Kubernetes library they're using. Mm -hmm. and um, the but the client, but the Kubert yeah. client Go library is not going away. The Q we use it internally for, you know, in the Kubert Kubert project. 
Um, but generally, I think most people, um, unless you want to, you know, be tied to the same dependencies that we have in Kubevert, you should probably use the API, uh, the Kubevert API repo and generate your own client or use, you know, the, the client code library. Yeah. I, 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 today I'm using the Golang and I plan to move back to the, 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 the your recommendation. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, the Golang gonna be depreciated. They, 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 they gonna be stopped to be supported. No, it's not. No, the client go uh, repo is not gonna go anywhere. Anytime okay. soon. No. Okay. That was the missing information. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's still it's still going to exist and still going to be used. Um, you know, as far as I know, for the foreseeable future in Kubevert, it's just, um, uh, yeah, it, you, and yeah, you can still use it. it. It's not going anywhere, but it, it would probably be best to not tie yourself to our dependencies um, and just use the API repo directly. That's all I need to know. Thank you so much, guys. H happy, happy new year for everybody. <laughs>